Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video today, I'll be going through log laws and more specifically, what sort of log laws we need to know for the GAMSAT exam. Um, towards the end, I'll also talk about how we can easily solve natural logs. And this is something that can, you know, confuse a lot of people because they look so, so different to the normal logs that we were used to. So to start off with, what is a log? Essentially a log is saying, um, what, so if it's log 10 to, for example, 2 times 10 to the 3, all this is saying is 10 to what power will equal 2 times 10 to the 3. Um, this can get easier if we put log 10, 10 to the 4, um, and this would equal 4. So in this example, it's 10 to what power would equal 10 to the 4. So this is quite easy. 10 to the power of 4 will equal 10 to the power of 4. Um, so with this example here, all we're really seeing is 10 to what power will equal 2000. Um, but usually we with logs, just to make it easier, we write it in scientific notation. So instead of writing 2000, we write 2 times 10 to the power of 3. So 10 to what power will equal 2000? So I'll go through this uh, towards the middle of the video, but that's ex essentially what a log is. Now, typically we see logs when we're doing acid-base questions, such as pH and calculating pHOH, but also with buffers. And they also come into play when we start looking at pK as well, because pK is just the negative log of the acid uh, dissociation constant. Um, we also see logs in the Arrhenius equation, as well as X-ray beam attenuation equations. But these focus on natural logs. And these, as I said earlier in the video, these are quite different from the log laws that we know and love. Um, but I'll go through a tip on how to solve these just as easy as these standard log 10 laws. In the GAMSAT, you'll typically see logs in one of four different cases, either being positive logs or negative logs. Uh, first up, we'll go through positive logs. In the GAMSAT exam, you're not actually um, required to remember what each log equals. So you're not supposed to learn or you're not required to learn what log 2 equals. However, you should know how to calculate what log 2 times 10 to the 3 is if they give you what log 2 is. So in this first example, we're asked 10 to what power will equal 2 times 10 to the power of 3. Um, and just to prove why it's typically easier to write this in scientific notation, um, we just take this 3 here, and that will be the first half of our answer. And in order to calculate what log 2 times 10 to the 3 is, all it is is this, this power of 3 plus log 2. And if we're told that log 2 is equal to 0 0.3, then the answer is simply 3 plus 0 0.3, which equals 3.3. Um, this is also the same if we're given uh, a scientific notation uh, of a negative. So 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So all we do here is take the negative, so negative 3 plus and this plus here is because this is a positive log. So it's negative 3 plus log 2. And that will equal negative 3 plus 0 0.3, which equals 0. Point, oh, sorry. 0 0.7. It will equal 2.3, negative 2.3. So what we're doing here is taking this negative 3 here and then adding log 2 to it. So in order to calculate negative logs, we use the same process as calculating positive logs, although we just change the signs up a bit. So in this first example, we have negative log 2 times 10 to negative 3. Uh, that should be to the base 10. But in order to figure this out, we initially put a negative sign uh, in front of our working out. So, and that's just because of this negative log here. So again, just like usual, we take this 3 and we place it in front of our equation. So we got negative uh, brackets 3 plus log 2. Okay, and we're still adding the log 2 because we have this log 2 here. Um, we're just making it 
the entire equation a negative because we have the negative log this time and not a positive log. So to solve this, we'll just have negative brackets 3 plus 0 0.3, and that will just end up being negative 3.3, .3. again because of that negative log symbol. Um, it's relatively the same when we have two negatives, such as, oops, my apologies, when we have two negatives, like the negative log here and the negative indices here. So in order to solve this, like usual, we just take our negative symbol in brackets, negative 3, because we're taking it from that um, scientific notation value there, and then we're adding the log 2. So here would have negative, negative 3 plus 0 0.3. So that would be negative 2.7. Now, because we have a negative number that already, so we have a double negative here, right? And a double negative equals a positive. So negative log 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 will equal 2.7 because double negatives equal a positive. So as I said earlier in the video, sometimes you'll come across natural logs. Uh, we typically see this in the form as ln x. So ln 2 times 10 to the power of 3, for example. Um, if you guys want an actual practice test example, look at question 75 in the GAMSAT practice test 2, or the purple booklet. And you'll see uh, x-ray attenuation question. And essentially what they give you is i divided by i initial is equal to e to the power of ax and e is just the uh, one form of a natural log natural log um i won't go through the specifics of the question but essentially what they tell you is that i is equal to 10 to the power of 2 uh, i initial is 10 to the 4 and negative a is um, minus 0 0.7 and what they're asking you is to find x. So in order to solve this equation, we simply uh, work, we simply calculate the left side first, and 10 to the 2 divided by 10 to the 4 is 10 to the negative 2. And if that confuses you a bit, I'll go through scientific notation in a different video, but just take my word for it now that that is equal to 10 to the 2. And that will equal e to the power of 0 0.7 times x. Now, in order to, I guess, like get rid of the e and bring this scientific notation down, we can natural log everything. So if we go ln 10 to the negative 2 is equal to ln e 0 0.7 times x. And ln e is the exact same because natural log is essentially log e to a certain power so ln e is log e to the e and one of the log laws you should know is that anything that is uh, log something by itself is just equal to one uh, just to reiterate this log 10 to the 10 is just equal to one in the same way log e to the e is one so we can cancel this out. So in order to calculate, calculate this equation, we have ln 10 to the negative 2 is equal to 0 0.7 times x. Now the trick here with the natural log is to change it to something that we're more familiar with, and that is log 10. Um, so in order to do this, with these ln values here, all you have to do is times a natural log by 2.3. So instead of being natural log 10 to the power of 2, it could be 2.3 times log 10 to the negative 10 to the negative 2 will equal negative 0 0.7 times x. So from here, we can then solve for x a lot more easily. So just to solve the log here, uh, 10 to what power will equal negative 2? So 10 to the negative 2 will equal 10 to the negative 2. So this will just equal negative 2. So 2.3 times 10 to the negative 2 is negative 4.6. And if we divide that by our negative 0 0.7, it 
we get the value of x. So in the practice test, I think the answer was 6.6 .6 centimeters. Um, and we get an answer that's very close to that. So that's one way that we can calculate natural logs and put it into something that's more familiar to us. So just to reiterate, the easiest way to deal with these natural logs is to convert this ln into something that's more recognizable, and that's the log 10. And the easiest way we can do that is just by multiplying the log 10 by 2.3. So ln 10 to the negative 3 is the same as 2.3 times log 10 to the 10 to the negative 3. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope that's helped you understand log laws a little bit better and perhaps even improved how you would go about answering these questions in the GAMSAT exam. Um, I know that logs and even natural logs was something that was very difficult for me in the beginning. But hopefully, as I said, this video has helped you guys out a bit. If you have found some value, um, if you could leave a like below or think about subscribing to the channel, it would be super appreciated. As always, if you have any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, again, just drop a comment below and I'll try and fit it into my videoing schedule.